Right, so the question this week is which of the four players would I like to see West stand by in January? And uh, as always, there's uh, <coughs> quite a few interesting picks and uh, quite some underwhelming picks. So first of all, Victor Wanyama. Um, I think he's a very good player um, on his day and he's been unlucky with injuries. He's an absolute powerhouse in the midfield and we've probably lacked that since we let uh, Kiate go. Um, Injury-wise, I don't feel me with confidence with how he's been for Spurs lately. And a lot of people saying he can't get in that team. I guarantee he can get in that, in that Spurs team. I guarantee you, on his day, he can get in that Spurs team. When there's players like Ericsson who don't really want to you know, be there and they pick and choose when to, when to turn up. <coughs> and you've got other, you know, certain other players and, and Dombele is... Isn't really in their team very much at the moment, as I understand that under Mourinho. But um, I think he's a good player and for the right money. I wouldn't mind West Ham taking a punt on him. Um, but out of the four players, um, I wouldn't. It, I'll pick uh, Jensen Fernandez. Just going to go straight to him um, because he's been linked with us. He's a highly rated young player, um, and. This is typical West Ham. Is that we'll, we'll we'll put it out there that we're, we're after this really highly rated player. The whole of Europe is being linked with him. Um, but as always, we make it too abundantly clear that we're after him or after him, and um, just so the other teams can come in, take him off our hands or potential hands, and then say, oh well, look, we were after him, but unfortunately we didn't get him. That's because you're too tight. You can't put it, you know, open a checkbook and get him and get a deal over the line. Um, I mean, we never had a chance in the first place anyway, so what's the point in even trying to get him? Um, but yeah, there's also players like Joe Allen being um, linked, and Joe Allen's a very experienced professional player. I think he came to his prime, sort of the season where Stoke got relegated. Um, and he's a good player on his day, to be fair. He's a Welsh, in, well, <coughs> sorry, Welsh international, or just retired Welsh international, I can't remember if he's still playing for him or not. But for Stoke, he's a good player. He's a good, he's a good centre midfielder. He's, he's, he's nothing much. He'll do the basics. He's basically pretty much another noble. Um, do we need another noble? I think noble, one noble is enough. And um, he's only producing the goods because he's, he's Mr. West Ham, really. He wouldn't be doing it in another team, I don't think. But especially for like when, when the asking price is between 8 million and 12 million, no thank you. That, that money can be spent a, a lot better elsewhere. So, Joe Allen, not for me at all. Um, only on a on a very uh, you know very low transfer fee, so it's not going to hurt the hurt the wallet too much. And finally, Gabriel Barbosa or Gabby Goal, as he's known, we've been linked with this guy for every transfer window since the owners took charge of the club. Um, he's almost boring now, and I think he's <laughs> he's uh, he's he's definitely aged a bit since we were first linked with him. Um, probably a very good player, but like I said. When you link with a guy so much as we have, um, according to reports, just just sign the guy or don't, you know, or just just leave him be to get on with his career. He's clearly having a good one without us, so uh, there's no need for him to go. Oh yeah, really going to go with Stan. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it, out of all of them, I would want to sign Jensen Fernandez. I think potential wise, he's got a lot going for him. We do need some more centre centre midfielders. Um, but if you're going to go to Gabby Gold, just get the guy for God's sake. It's like eight, eight transfer windows at least. <laughs> we'll be linked for him. Um, so, yeah, Jitson Fernandez for me. Go get him. Do it. Get him. Come on your minds. Before I answer Ian's question, I just need to say one thing. Leave ex West Ham employee alone on Twitter. Or just leave him alone in general. He's a good bloke. He doesn't deserve to see get all the grief he's getting because he's tweeting stuff that we want to know about. His his impact has no sorry his tweets have no impact on club decisions, West Ham or otherwise. So leave the geezer alone. All right. So I'm going to now turn to Ian's question: Which four of these players would you like to see at West Ham? Victor Wanyama from Spurs, hundred percent would like to. Would have preferred him two or three years ago, but the way that Daniel Levy works, can't see it happening. So. I'd like to, but it's not going to happen. Joe Allen from Stoke. Do we really have to answer this question? <laughs> Five, six years ago, I would have taken him 100%. As Luke from Three Hammers said, um, 
there's no point in bringing in Joe Allen because it's like trying to replace Mark Noble with Mark Noble, right? Nothing wrong with Mark Noble. You guys, those that have been following my channel for the last two and a half years now will know I absolutely love Noble. Very, very good player. But they're both the same age and it's that's what he was, was referring to. There's no point bringing Joe Allen in because, as I, as I say, they're, they're both exactly the same age, right? The bank... And it's going to be like for like if we're if we're going to bring in the next Mark Noble, it has to be a very very young Mark Noble. Simple as that. Uh, Gabriel Barbosa from Inter Milan. I'm not going to say I know everything about him. I'm not. I don't in any shape or form. I've been doing some research, of course, which is the smart way to do things when it comes to transfers before you start losing your shit. Which, by the way, guys, um, again, you guys need to. You know, just don't expect everything on Twitter and Sky Sports, The Guardian, whatever, Mail on Sunday to be true. It's not. It's not. Ex-West Ham employee is one of the best sources of correct information. 95% of the time, he's absolutely spot on. He's an at, he's, you know, he's, he's, and he, he, with that 5% where he isn't spot on, it's because things have changed. So... You know, um, but Barbosa, I would be happy to see. From what I understand of him, I have to say I've been reading reports about him. Um, had a look on transfer market as well to see what his stats were. Seems a very, very good player, and I would be, of course, I'd be very happy for him to come in. And number four, Gedson Fernandez from Benfica. He's on loan somewhere. He's what is it? He's got forty-five game, forty-five, forty-five goals in, or fifty-two. Go, games or something like that. Fifty. His, his goal scoring ratio is brilliant. Again, it's not a player that I'm I'm aware of, and I know all all that all that well about. Again, I've just been doing research. Twenty years old, and very much seems to be a box to box midfielder. The perfect thing we need to not to. Yeah, all right. It's the perfect thing that we need to save our season. Let's, let me put it that way. So. Yeah, out of all four of them, to be honest with you, I would be happy to see either Barbosa or Fernandez. Now, there's a lot of rumours coming around to say that Fernandez is very, very odds on to be the highest one that's going to happen. We'll have to wait and see. We've still got a couple good three and a bit, almost three and a half weeks till the end of the till the end of the transfer window. So we're going to see what happens with that. But I'll be very, very happy with that. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you are adjusting yourself back to the normal working week now that now the New Year's has come and gone. And I hope 2020 works out very, very well for you.